Gary Contessa here doing a little video for you, and I hate controversy because no matter what we do on controversy, whether it's Trump versus Hillary or horse racing calls, or no matter what it is, half the world is going to agree with you and half the world is not. So there's going to be people that hear what I have to say and they're going to say, oh, what an idiot. And there's going to be people that say, you know, that makes a lot of sense. So today I've been asked for my opinion on what happened in the Derby this year. So let me start by saying that the mindset in horse racing, as everybody knows, has changed. And the mindset in horse racing was always the horse's as much as I hate to say it, a lot of times the horses will last. Everybody was worried about the jockeys, the trainers, the families, everything. And the horse came last. And that has changed. We are here now with a mindset of transparency and a mindset of protecting the horse and treating him as an equal athlete as our jockeys and our trainers and everybody that's involved in the sport. So the horse is finally getting treated as an equal. And with that mindset, it's an across-the-board mindset. You know, you can see it in every little thing. People are starting to notice. And we have taken a lot of steps to make the sport safer. But for 40, 145 years, the Kentucky Derby, it was accepted that if you take 20 horses and you put them in the same race, and some years it was 14, some years it was 18, but when you put a lot of horses in the same race, they're animals, they're 1,400 pound animals, there's gonna be some infractions. There's gonna be traffic problems, that people are gonna get impeded, jockeys are gonna get in trouble, and we all know, in the Derby, not always the best horse wins. Sometimes the best horse has a horrible trip and runs fourth or fifth. And th so this year, with a new mindset in racing in general, the stewards in Kentucky, if you watch the telecast of the Derby this year, she's in the jocks room saying to the jockeys, we're going to judge this race as a clean race, we want everybody to come back safe, we want to protect the horses, we want to protect the public. So that said, she laid the groundwork for making the move that she did this year. If that horse, when that horse came out, he impeded Mark Cassie's horse, War of Will. And if that was any other race in America, that horse would have come down. Now, because it's the Derby, and because there's so many horses in the Derby, for the last 145 years, that horse probably would not have come down, because it was accepted by management, it was accepted by stewards, it was accepted by the horsemen, it was accepted by the jockeys, that things were going to happen in the Derby because there were so many horses in it, that you just had to take it. And that's why there was no... In inquiry right away and that's why jockeys the jockey on war will never even claim foul because it was accepted in this business that there were going to be infractions but the stewards this year and you know what change happens in every aspect of life we get to a point where somebody in management, somebody in a position of authority says, we're not going to take this anymore. And that's why we write new rules, we write new laws. But this law was just a non-written law that people turned a blind eye to traffic and to incidents in the Kentucky Derby because of so many horses. Well, this year it's changed. And probably going forward, Every year going forward, it's going to change. That infraction, if it happened at Belmont in a claiming race, if it happened at Churchill in a maiden 25, if it happened at Gulfstream in an allowance race or a stake race, on any given day, that horse would have been disqualified. Do I like the fact that they disqualified the best horse? That horse ran his eyeballs out. He deserved to win the Kentucky Derby. He went the first quarter in 22 and change, and he never stopped. He was the best horse in the race. But the rules have changed. This is a transparent industry. Medication rules have changed. 
and the way the stewards are viewing the Kentucky Derby now has changed. It took till 2019 for that change to happen, but it appears that going forward, that's the way it's going to be done. And let's face it, if they had let that horse stay up this year, after 15 minutes of looking at it and showing all the angles and showing the public what happened, you still would have had 50% of the people saying, what an awful steward to leave that horse up. And you would have had 50% of the people saying, great move that they left the horse up because that's the way it should be. In my opinion, it's a new age. It's a new way of looking at horses. It's a new way of looking at horse racing. And given the fact that that horse would have come down on any other given day for that exact same infraction, I tend to agree with taking that horse down. But they did take down the best horse in the race. That horse ran a fantastic race. My heart goes out to the owner because you can only win the Derby once usually in a lifetime if you're even so lucky to win a Derby. And it's a heartbreaking thing for the rider, the connections, the jockey, you know, I'm sorry that it happened, but I have to lean towards the new way of looking at horse racing, which is protect the horse at all costs. And the public, I think, appreciates that mindset as well. So I agree with the call in this year's Kentucky Derby.